hey guys welcome back to another video as always thank you guys for tuning in it's friday and it's 8 30 o'clock in the morning for me a new beta just dropped for backpack battles and as you guys know i like the covered betas because it's cool we get new items right so i haven't looked at anything i honestly didn't even, i i didn't even know it was friday today until i saw the discord and people were like beta this beta that i'm like there's a new beta out so yeah I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. I saw like pictures of the new items, but I don't know what any of it does. And as you can see, we already got like a new thing. We got a new screen, which uh, it seems like you can randomize a class. Your class loadout will be randomly chosen. That's pretty cool. I like that actually. I like how you can just randomize a class to like choosing your specific class. That's kind of that's kind of dope. But it seems like we have loadouts now. Does it? Okay, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. They done gave us six new backpacks? No, eight, because two times four is eight. They gave us eight new backpacks. What is this? Hold up, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, this is a say. This is a, this is game change. This is a game changing update, girl. What the heck? This is a game changing update. New backpacks? Oh my gosh. The meta is changing again. The meta, okay, okay. Let's cover the backpacks. You know, let's just go to items. Let's just go to items real quick. Um, is that okay? I think that's okay. It seems like this. No, we got some new item items too. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so I guess we'll. Uh, I guess we'll just look at the Reaper first and look at its new backpacks and any. It doesn't seem like it got any new items, but it did get a vine weave basket, which is a nine slaughter instead of a six slaughter. You get nine slots. Your healing is amplified by ten percent. Increases by two percent per nature item. Round in rounds one through ten, cell chance is increased by twenty percent. Wow. Ooh, that's that's pretty interesting. I like this though. I like this. This is like, I don't know. I like it though. I like it. I like it. It's increased by two percent per nature item. You get nine nature items in there. That's an increase of eighteen percent. So you can have a twenty-eight percent increase in healing amplified. And not to mention in the first few rounds, I guess before you get your class. No, because class items are in round seven slash eight so huh i wonder why they did round one through ten but between round one through ten your cell chance is increased by 20 percent. that's interesting versus the critical hit inside of the ranger bag you know what i mean huh interesting very interesting that means you're not gonna have crit chance unless you get the acorn collar right but i mean if that's not an issue then that's not an issue you feel me especially if you just rock with the piercing arrow get some acorn collars on that guy you should be fine and then you can reap the benefits of having the amplified healing and plus the 20 percent cell chance like 20 so percent cell chance is pretty high and then you combine that with this guy 25 percent chance uh, cell chance with a 20 percent chance to find a unique like that's not a bad combination and then not to mention you get the nine backpack slots at the beginning right instead of it just being three i mean six instead of it just being six you get the nine and then you still st uh do you still get the two leather bags oh so you don't get a let oh, okay Okay, so they take away one of the leather bags, but they give you more slots. So at the end of the day, you're getting less slots because this six plus four, that's a 10 versus this. This is just a nine. So you get less slots and you start with healing herb and a stone. What is going on? Okay, so you start with you start with a healing stone. You start a healing herb, a stone. You get less slots. I don't know if it's better. I don't know. I guess it depends on like what build you're going for. Like if you're not going for a crit build, then you should probably go this because you get the you get the cell chance and then you know you should probably do something dealing with healing right probably uh go with yugula's leaf the leaf thing because you know it's a nature item in itself and it benefits from other nature items right so that's probably the best play not to mention you do start with a you start with a nature item too and it's a healing herb like that's a four gold item that's that's this is five gold right here right this on the other hand i mean that's three this is what two and that's uh four so, eh, I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think, because I actually don't know if it's better or not. And then we also got the stack of surprise, which I'm assuming this is a uh, what is this game started? Replace this with random starting items. Wait, random starting bags and items. Ooh, that's interesting. I like that. I like that actually. Stack of surprises. I wonder if it could be OP. It's a four slaughter, unless it just gives you random bags when you start that is interesting very 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 interesting i'm gonna try that out let's see what happens 
Ah, so it literally gives you one of the random starting bags along with other bags. And then it gives you like random items to start with. Interesting. It gave me a unique accessory. I don't want to look at that yet. I don't want to look at that yet. Very interesting though. I like how that works a little bit. Interesting. I wonder if this was a huge pull considering the star item here. But yeah, that's pretty interesting. Pretty, pretty interesting. Any new items for uh, Ranger? It doesn't seem like it. All right, let's check out Reaper here. See what Reaper's got. I, I guess everything got a new bag and then we got new universal items. That's what it seems like. Because I don't think there's any new specific items for any of the classes. It doesn't seem like it. Okay, so every every new class got a new bag. Um, and then they just gave us new item items. Universal items. So Reaper, let's see here. Adds, this is my class, by the way. This is my class. <laughs> I've been rocking this class for forever. All right, anyways. Every, uh, add four backpack slots. Every two seconds, weapons inside deal plus 5% more damage. And uses less stamina? Ew. Inter okay. That is extremely interesting. I don't think it works for my specific build, but this might be a meta changing build, right? Every two seconds, bro. Two seconds is pretty damn. That's a, that's a fast triggering backpack. Every two seconds. This is, it's super small, though. Look at that super small it's only four slots super small what do you start with if you uh if i were to rock you what do, what do i start with okay okay that's interesting you start with a wooden sword and a garlic okay okay oh and you start with two leather bags instead of one leather bag you get two so the space sizing is is pretty much the same right because what is this uh four eight twelve that's twelve and then this one is eight and then nine ten yeah so you start with the same amount of space they give you a weapon right off the bat, which personally, I would just change this into a torch or a totem and then get myself a secondary weapon. You feel me? Or something like that, right? I would try to utilize this wooden sword in some way um, right off the bat, right? But interesting versus the uh, the poison. Because, you know, Reaper and poison is good to have together because you start off with that extra type of damage. But this one... This is more long game. This is more long term, right? Because storage coffin kind of doesn't matter in the late game because it doesn't really generate you that much poison compared to whatever your build is going to be at the end of the day, right? It just it's just space, right? It's really good in the early game, right? Because of that poison. Uh, but this guy kind of matters throughout the entirety of the game because that extra 5% damage, like it's not like a, oh, your weapon deals plus one damage every two. No, 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 no. This is 5% more damage, right? 5%, right? Every two seconds, five, 10, 15, 20. You know what I mean? Like that can, that can ramp up. Not to mention, wait a second. If I could combine this with a heat build, that means this could be like every 0 0.5, 0 0.2 seconds, the weapons inside <laughs> increase. I got to try this out. We're trying this out. The fact that, okay, we're trying this one out. I like this one. I like you. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. I like you. Okay, okay, okay. That's probably my favorite one so far. And now we have Pyromancer, which is a offering bowl. Uh, uh, adds four black powers. Start at a battle, you gain one empowerment. Okay, okay. Shop entered. Whoa, shop entered. Consume all items inside. Create a flame in different items based on the combined value. Whoa. Whoa, 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 that's interesting. The start of the start of the, the empowerment gain at the start of battle is pretty lame. But the consumption of all of the items on the inside create a flame and a different items based on the combined value. Hmm. That is interesting. What do you start with? It, it, let me see what you start with. Let me see what you start with. Whoa, that's different. Okay, you start with a dagger? in a shiny shell that's different but i do like the fact you start with a dagger because um flame dagger or fire dagger whatever it's called the pyromancer uh, fire dagger is actually pretty damn good right you get that guy with a few heat you know what i mean early game hitting 12 damage per like this so this the flame dagger will win you some early game uh battles for sure the shiny shell is a little interesting i mean i don't know <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know how I feel about this one, but this is cool, though. The fact that you can just offer up items in here and get items out of it is pretty interesting. Huh? That's really interesting. That makes me feel like I should just like W key economy in some way, like get a shovel 
and then every time you get items from your shovel boom put them inside of there if you don't like it obviously boom put it inside there give me something else boom put it and the shovel is just going to keep generating you infinite items right i'm gonna try that that is interesting i kind of like that that's i say it's a little bit rng but i feel like it's controlled rng where you can you know put stuff in there get stuff out put stuff in there get stuff out you know what i mean very very interesting i like it though picasso picasso i like that one um and then next is berserker which adds eight backpack slots weapons inside deal plus 30 percent damage but attack 30 percent slower okay after five seconds enter battle rage for five seconds during battle rage plus 25 percent life still wow okay 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 that's interesting okay okay i kind of like it i kind of like it they deal 30 percent more damage but attack 30 percent slower this reminds me this reminds me of the stone gloves right because the stone gloves they your weapons deal 20 percent more damage but they attack 10 percent slower right and i remember there was a meta where you would rock stone gloves combined with the fire staff right because where's the fire staff because the fire staff as soon as i can find it where's the fire staff fire staff wait i'm in right there we go the fire staff it uses up mana and heat the game plus six damage right and you would just keep on just damage 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 like it was mainly one of those weapons that hits hard not fast it just hits hard as shit you know what i mean um that along with the um the the serpent staff was the exact same way because the serpent staff right it um it inflicts poison for each four damage that you dealt right so the more damage this does the more poison you inflict so you rock this with stone with the stone gloves because they increase your damage right which means at the end of the day you're going to be dealing more poison which is more dps at the end of the day you know what i mean um however now that i think about it when it comes to berserker 30 percent increase in damage on a busted blade would be pretty insane not to mention the lifesteal like what that's exactly what people want to do imagine hitting for 100 damage and then you just heal 25 uh, 25 health this is already 50 to 60 right and you're just going to increase that by 30 percent, which is going to be like a nice juicy like 15 to 20 damage right and then just increases damage and then like every time you hit 200 damage oh i just healed for 50 health you know what i mean and not, you know like that's pretty crazy even though it is slower to be fair but still that could be pretty crazy interesting interesting or even with chain whip you know what i mean huh i don't know how i feel about this one my my this is probably the happiest one because it's the second thing. It's the fact that they gave us an every two second store or not store at every two second backpack and I can rock an infinite heat build and my weapons inside can just keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger is freaking insane. And the fact they use less stamina too. I don't know what weapon I'm going to use here, but I'm telling you guys, I'm going to use a weapon here. But I don't know which one, but it's going to be something. It's got to be something that uses up stamina to even utilize the 5% less stamina, which is more than likely going to be a universe item because none of these take stamina. Well, except, you know, Death Scythe. But other than that, none of these take stamina. It's going to be interesting. Okay, now we're going to look at the universe items that they gave us, which seems to be some uniques. Okay, it seems to just be uniques. Okay. So we don't get like any item items. They're just unique items. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna take a look at this one. Artifact, oh, they gave us more stones. Oh, wait, no, they didn't. Okay, this is just an artifact stone, which means they, it could, it's, it's, oh, okay. It's like these, it's like the cold and fire stones. Okay. I wanna hit infic, inflict fatigue damage. Okay, it's got two star slots. Star items have 5% crit chance for each fatigue level of your opponent. Hmm. That is interesting. That is interesting. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I like it, but it's interesting. On hits inflict fatigue damage, and then you get a 5% increase in critical hit chance per fatigue level. 
which means during fatigue, this is basically a fatigue build stone. But right now there are no fatigue builds. <laughs> like there's no fatigue builds right now. And not to mention this is a unique item, so you're not gonna get it every single time. You know what I mean? It's like once in a blue moon every game, right? But it's still pretty interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I give this one like a four out of ten. Because it's like it's super situational. You know what I mean? It's not to mention like your build might not even need crit at the end of the day, but then again, like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting though. It's interesting. Um, okay, and then we got Qbert. I love me a Qbert. Can I craft you, Qbert? Or are you legitimately just a unique item? Okay. I cannot craft a Qbert. I am sad. Um Star item activates 25% chance to gain one regeneration. Diamond items activate 25% chance to gain one regeneration. Wait, wait. Oh no, 25% chance to use a regeneration to gain empowerment. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um, huh. That is interesting. It doesn't seem overpowered. That's my thing, which I guess that's a good thing that it doesn't seem overpowered. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want it to be overpowered, I suppose, but like, it's okay. You know what I mean? You pick this up, you buy it. It's not going to hurt your build. How much gold is it? <laughs> it's only eight, you know, it's only eight gold. Like, you know what I mean? It's only eight gold. That's not, that's not horror. I just realized this is 10 gold. This is a 10 gold stone. The heat one is nine and the cold one is also 10. I'd rather have the, the cold one. The cold one is like OP. But uh, yeah, this one's not, you know, this one's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's a 25% chance, which I guess that's at like a decently, decently decent, you know what I mean? But it doesn't hurt you, Bill. Like, you, I guess, you know, it's okay. It's decent. It's decent. And then this one, start of courage. Chance of finding unique items is 5%. Your weapons use 5% less stamina. Oh, this is rewarded for starting as a random character. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's... Huh. That's interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess it's... I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I kind of like how it's guaranteed, though, in a way. I like how it's guaranteed versus the other uniques, right? So that's why we got that item when we did the, the random... Wait. Rewarded for starting as a random character. What I did, I picked my... Was it a random character or did I pick my character? Because I remember doing the stack of surprise. I thought I got that star because it was a stack of surprise, but apparently not. Apparently, I just did a random character. Got you. Okay, 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 okay. Anyways. That's interesting, though. I guess, I don't know. The chance of finding uniques is, is decent, I suppose. But it's the 5% less stamina. But it's only it's only 5%. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about it. Let me, get, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Because I actually don't know. I actually don't know. And then the last one we have is the Stable Recombobulator. Shop entered Consume Star Items. Create a different item based on the combined value. This is like a present, kind of. Instead of gold, it's consuming the items. That's a lot of items to be consuming. This is like giving me an entirely different build. It's like, okay, my build sucks. I'm going to buy this, put every single one of my items inside of it, and just hope and pray for something amazing. <laughs> That's basically what that is. That's kind of cool, though. That's kind of cool, though. But damn, okay, I'm I am excited actually. This backpack, this backpack makes me the most excited. Out of all the items, this backpack probably makes me the most excited. Every two seconds, weapons inside will deal plus five percent more damage and use five percent less stamina. I don't know what weapon to use this on. I feel like this would go good with like probably like dark saber, debuff build or something like that. Maybe a Bloodthorn uh, a healing, Bloodthorn uh, Nocturnal Locklifter build. Something along those lines. Uh, but I don't know. I just like it. 
It, it might be, I don't know. It, will it be hard, harder, like in the early game to use this? Because you're not, you know, you can't utilize the, the poison. I actually don't know. Maybe it balances because of 5% more damage. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't balance. I feel like it'll be harder. <laughs> But once you get, you know, once you get there and you start getting weapons with higher amounts of damage, because this this stacks off your own weapons damage. So if your weapon is doing like, I don't know, like one damage, like it's like, oh, you do one to two damage, like that 5% increase is nothing compared to this, where it's like, oh, you just inflicted two poison, right? That's two damage every two seconds. You know what I mean? Like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me guys know what you guys think in the comments. I still think it's my most favorite um, item. That and probably the Ranger's bag. The fact that it's freaking huge. But the healing could be in, uh, the healing could be really interesting in that cell chance. I think it'd be really dope too. And let me guys know what you guys think in the comments about the new items in the beta. As always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys out there. So apparently right when I was about to end my video, they uploaded a whole new patch with more items. And I also didn't cover this in the, in the you know, earlier. Um, this is what the utility pouch looks like. You start off with one leather, which is, you know, a little bit smaller. But then again, the utility pouch itself is eight slots versus this of six. So you're losing out on, it looks like just two slots, which I like my two slots. But anyways, um, and you don't actually start with the forging hammer, which I don't know how I feel about that. Like that's a whole weapon that I could start with, not to mention it bo uh, boost off of empowerment and everything. So, and it's a 3.5 trigger, which isn't, you know, it's not slow, right? You know what I mean? You can use that for a goober or whatnot, but you know, in the utility pouch, you get a banana and a lump of coal, which I feel like the lump of coal is pretty useless unless you try to go for a torch or like, yeah. <laughs> um, and then you also get this banana here, which I like the banana choice. I think it's nice. I like the banana. Um, but yeah, and the fact that you don't start with the four in your hammer basically means that if you want to get a combination, you would have to just utilize this utility pouch, I believe. So like if you're trying to get the chain whoop, you just put your uh, thorn whip inside of utility pouch and then it just turns into a chain whoop basically. Um, so yeah, and then the items that we didn't cover was these two you get the ghost and you get this time dilator which the time dilator you and your opponent's weapons attack 30 percent slower and every one second your weapon or your item it doesn't have to be a weapon your item with the highest cooldown triggers five percent faster i really how much how much this has to be like four gold because like it's 10 is it that op am i tripping am i tripping why is this 10 gold because my weapons being 30% slower and your weapons being 30% slower means we're we're on even footing. And every one second, your item with the highest cooldown triggers 5%. I can see if it was a weapon. Your weapon with the highest cooldown triggers 5% faster being saint. But it's just an item. It could be any item. Now, what if like you just W key not getting any items that have cooldowns? But there's a lot of items that have cooldowns. <laughs> Like, what if your weapon was the only item with a cooldown? Is that is it even possible to make a build like that? Where it's like, none of your items have cooldowns. And your weapon is the only item with a cooldown. And then you just get time dilator. And that weapon, every one second gets 5% faster. Every one second. It just keeps getting 5% faster, 5% faster. That would be pretty interesting. You'd probably have to just rock heroic potions for the stamina usage more than likely because you can't rock banana, you can't rock uh, flute or anything like that. That'd be interesting. It's 10 freaking gold though, which is insane to me. Ooh, okay, anyways. Um, and then we got unsettling presence, which do 30% of your healing as damage. Really? Bro, what? <laughs> Let me see this on an unhealing build, bro. What? This is OP. <laughs> this is OP. Deal 30% of your healing as damage. This goes like... Let me see this on an unhealing build. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. Let me rock Reaper. And I see this on my unhealing build, bro. I'm going crazy. Because, like, that's just... Hey, 
you know that amazing unhealing build you love so much here's something to make it even better you know what i mean and then every three seconds you use a random buff to heal for 10. like what this is a reaper's wet dream right here bro jesus christ that is insane deal 30 percent of your healing as damage and then you also heal like every three seconds at that like that's pretty nutty that is that's worth 10 gold i don't know about this time dilated situation maybe it's me maybe i'm tripping maybe it is worth it but i think i'd rather have unsettling presence as an energy i think i'd rather have that for sure but yeah i'm a, um yeah i think that's all the items for this beta and everything thank you guys for watching as always love you guys and i'll see you guys finally on the next video